Guys, make sure to see if this works right now. check my stream see if it's working right um but hey thanks for checking out my channel i'm streaming here and there now and what i'm working on is a portrait let me check this what i'm working on is a portrait right now so yeah it's working good awesome turn the volume down right now just doing like some art um, live and uh, I've been meaning to get this done for a while I've just been super crazy busy with stuff but I'm back now so this is all black and white just a monochromatic portrait I did most of the hair, but I'm building up the layers back and forth like that. Hey, what's up, John? Hey, doing good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out the channel. And I'm just working on a portrait right now for a customer. It's a black and white portrait. So I'm reducing my paint a lot to get these soft, subtle, like shadows and tones. I want to make sure I get that really good. Filling in the color. And the great thing about doing black and white is you just have to think about the value. Um, not so much the different colors and you know hues and all that. You just have to think of in terms of light and dark, bright, shadows, mid-tones, things like that. Which really gives you a lot of practice. I try not to do too many portraits on, on live because it's really you have to concentrate really hard and I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes but I'm pretty confident I can do this one really well and still kind of you know explain what I'm doing so I'm gonna go for it Hey, what's up guys? Hey, looks good. Thanks, John. Hey, Danielle. So talented. Get down. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, Joy, Amanda, Gray, all you guys, Janet, everyone for checking out the channel and the stream. Appreciate it. Drop a like, share all the good stuff. Helps get my channel out there. And right now what I'm doing is painting the, her lips right now. And those kind of always darker, heavier at the bottom. And then lighter at the top, and then I add the highlights, it really brings it out. So I'm working light now, then I'll do some build up the tones. And that's <clears throat> that's kind of dark, so I want to add some reducer. I want to reduce this. Actually, let me set up a better light too. So I want to reduce this and add some more, a um, little bit more reducer. And give it a little more shot, like a little more like, bring out the color a little more. All right, so it's a little better. All right, so where are we at? Here. There you go, it's better.
a little bit of shadow by her nose just to get the shape in there pretty well. Let's see how dark this is. I still want to reduce it more. I kind of like dumped out half of this paint and then reduce it again. So you get the different values. It's not just all just using the same kind of black. Um, and that's important when you're painting like a portrait. There it goes. Kind of like the round shape, like a ball. If you remember like in high school you did that, you know, you had like a circle, like a little sphere and you had to shade all the color in. Well, that's the same thing you do when you paint <clears throat> portraits and objects like that. Everything has like a round sphere look or a cylinder and all that stuff. It's boring doing it, but it pays off if you really practice it. So then when you paint something, it's like realistic. It's like depth and dimension. And I just, something really, just some really cool to look at. And that's, that's the way I think about it. Cool, so that's kind of coming to life. I like how that's coming along. It's like a little shadow by like the laugh lines, the cheeks. On the side right here. And thanks for checking out my streams, I appreciate it. And um, they're gonna get better too. I have a better lighting set setup coming next stream. So I'm excited to use that. And I have another cool project. I'm working on a motorcycle. It's a, um, I'm not sure exactly which, it's like a crotch rocket. I have all these really cool parts that I'm gonna be painting. And I'll do some live streams with that too. I think I'll make a couple of videos while I'm at it. Painting that shadow right here by the side of her face. little shadows underneath by her neck and then I want to finish this side of her eye just giving it some like 3d depth dimension. Okay. Finishing the shadows underneath her eyes. Which is like the eyelashes. Throw a couple of those eyelashes in there. Look 
like little wisps. It's cool, I like it. Finish the shadow. There's hair strands in there. So a lot of little subtle expressions and little sh shadows actually when you paint somebody's portrait and little pseudo areas so you kind of pay attention to really small details to make something look realistic fill this in more Hey, Cheryl Blanton, anyone for my grandma. She's been gone for 17 years. This is beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, just uh, DM me. I can make you something cool. Paint these on canvas. I think this one is like um, 16 by 20 inches wide. I think that's the dimension. So they're pretty good size. If you got a good photo, just like send it to me and I can check it out. Picture. I practiced a lot of portraits growing up so I really wanted to, you know, prove that I could be a really good artist and that was kind of like the test. If I could paint portraits, people always said, can you do that? So I struggle a lot, but practice, you know, definitely pays off in the end. about the shadows and by like the corners of the eyes it's darker inside though like the little small corners throw some bigger eyelashes on here finish rounding off the corner of the eye there's always a little shadow right there because the hair is hanging down since the hair is hanging down like Above there, there's gonna be more shadows of, on the top of the eye. Let's paint that in right here. So I think about stuff like that, like the hair coming down, there's gonna be more shadows right here at the top, right? Then I can um, not just rely directly on the picture, you know, just knowing where the shadows fall. You know how to do the next step. That's more paints and it's more reducer. It's like 50-50. It's usually what I mix in here. Let me shake it up. It's nice and mixed up. I usually do the hair first. So the, I can establish the values inside the, uh, you know, the rest of the painting. There you go.
I think I used this photo from a camera cell phone light picture. So even the higher resolution ones, if you have them, uh, work really, really good. Like the better quality, uh, the more detail and everything you can see. But I paint a lot, so it's helps experience like know where to put certain things, shadows and stuff like that. <clears throat> All right, it's cool. And it's always good practice just to keep it up. Reduce this a little more. So we got most of the face painted in. Um, I'm working. I'm working in the eyes, the eyelashes to be specific. Check it out. So I have a lot of cool projects coming up. One I'm really looking forward to is this motorcycle I'm working on. And uh, I have friends from the uh, motorcycle club shifted all the way from Hawaii. So I got some new clients. Uh, I'm excited. So I'm really going to start working on some crazy projects. Um, still keep up with painting portraits, doing some um, kind of animation, like comic stuff still. So I really like still have a big kind of following for that. So we got a lot of cool things coming up and I'm working on getting the channel, getting, getting it bigger. That's one of my goals for 2019, hashtag goals. Those little eyelashes make it look real realistic. So when you see it, someone looks at it, it's like, wow. I always get that little like, you know, like how do you do that? I just add that little thing, those little touches that you don't see in a lot of paintings, at least now. So I always study like the old masters. So I like watching those like videos and those documentaries and stuff like that. Like Da Vinci, Michelangelo. Because they really, really put a lot of work and they practice a lot. <clears throat> they practice a lot to get to how good they are. So even, even though I've been doing this for like 13, 15 years or whatever, uh, I still, still practice a lot. So it can go a lot further. Okay, let me darken in the corners by the lips of the mouth. That's always darker and that always fades in. And it's a little lighter. Where the lips are like fuller and bigger. All right, that looks good. 
finish that right here. Finish some of these strands by the hair. All right, cool. Kind of step back and look at it a little bit. See what parts I need to finish, which parts kind of like need to be filled in more. So I just build up areas, kind of step back, build up other areas, and it's kind of like just back and forth. It's like the process of painting. When you make something dark, other places become lighter, and then you have to make them a little darker and lighter areas. But if you like the channel, drop a share, like, comment, all that good stuff. Helps out the channel, I appreciate it. And uh, I get to do more stuff, paint cooler objects. <clears throat> and that's the thing I love about airbrush art. It's like, you can paint all kinds of stuff, not just portraits, you can paint bikes, cars, motorcycles, anything like, you know, just I think I painted an Xbox, a 360, just like whatever people bring me, I can paint. And that's cool, you know, I like that about the art form. It's different. All right, that's cool. And if you're checking out this live from other channels, subscribe, direct subscribe to the channel, appreciate it. And I'll have other tutorials and uh, show you more uh, work portraits. If you like that, just let me know. I had someone wanted me to do some black light, ultraviolet stuff and show how I do that. So I think that would be a cool one coming up. It's cool. So like right here, it's a little light. I want to fill it in. And then right there, and the brightest are like the, the cheekbones, rear cheeks, those are like the lightest colors, lightest areas. And the darkest are as it moves back towards the shadows. All right. Mix this up real fast. Shake it up, shake it up. It's light so you can see it better. Making sure to overpaint any areas. If you check out the channel, you just drop in. I'm working on a portrait uh, in black and white. And um, just practicing doing portraits. I've been doing it for years. 
so it's uh, kind of cool to kind of just do it on the black and white ones. They usually do a lot of color ones and uh, monochromatic ones. But uh, drop a share, drop a like, all the good stuff that helps out the channel and gets the, my work out there. Appreciate it. That looks cool. So building like these strands of hairs in, these dagger strokes, and then that builds in like the highlights. Because it kind of merges in the middle and makes this little like light area. more gray the mid-tone right here right by your cheek I think like a work of art, a painting, is a very kind of um, something you can't get everywhere else. It's like um, something unique. And uh, you know, it's cool having something in your family you can pass down and say, you know, it's been painted by an artist. There's a lot of things you can kind of buy in the world, um, but one of them that can't be reproduced and can't be put on a shelf and packaged and Amazon or whatever is uh, as a painting. Um, it's going to be one of a kind. So I always like collecting art too. Whenever I go uh, to a show or a convention, I'll usually buy something from another artist. So it kind of inspires me too. I think that's the coolest thing about traveling and meeting other artists and doing these shows. It's like, I get to, you know, take back a part of someone else's like world, I guess you'd call it. Man, maybe someday a painting might be worth something. A lot. So all these little subtle shadows really starts bringing it together. Gives it life. And starts kind of reminding you of like a photograph, almost like black and white photographs. It's like cheekbone right here is kind of like smiling. So I'm gonna shape it like round. So I move like the gun, like a half a circle, making that like underneath round part, building it up building up the mid-tones and the grays. There you go.
when I first started as a beginner artist, that's the thing like I really didn't understand. It's like, it's not just one color. It's a lot of little, it's gray, it's, you know, medium gray, dark gray, light gray, whatever, 50%, 25. It just breaks down into all these little, little tones. Cool. So I want to, I think that's cool. I think maybe a little darker on the eyes, but maybe, you know what, what I'm gonna do is finish the hair and it's pretty good already. So I'm gonna add some black and then some reducer, but not as much as I usually do. and then mix it up, shake it, shake it, shake it. Let me test it on the side. And they always bring the dark colors out the, by the edges. So what it does is it frames the portrait to make you look in the center. And I think all strong compositions have that focal point you've established that focus point really well. And that's the, how you can tell the difference between uh, amateur artists and uh, professional ones. A lot of pro professional artists are really conscious of their focal point, their edges, uh, values, all that. And when all that comes together, you see like a really cool painting. If anyone is curious, I'm using Wicked Illustration Black, and then I'm using this reducer for 12. And these are automotive grade paints, but they can be used for everything from canvas to all kinds of surfaces, helmets, whatever. A little darker here. Hair, like wispy, swing over like that. All right, it's cool. I think I've been working on this for maybe hour maybe two but not even that i don't think and that's the great thing about black and white uh, portraits or just monochromatic ones um it lets you practice light and dark and you can do something really cool have something really nice finished in a pretty short time so you know you practice and you get something cool at the end
All right, guys, thanks for checking out the channel and the stream. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna add some like little highlights, I think, off camera, but um, it's pretty much done. So I'm gonna show you the whole thing right here so you can see it. Right now, let me see how it looks. The eyes. So you have a better focus right now. And I'll blurry. And there's the reference photo right there. But thanks guys for checking out the channel. Appreciate it. Drop a like, share all the good stuff that gets my work out there and uh, helps me, you know, keep on making videos, keep on sharing my work and all that good stuff. See you guys later and um, check with me again. I'll be back next week. If not, maybe this weekend on my live stream some stuff, all right? So see you guys and thanks for checking out this channel. Later.